Now, it's the moment when it all happened, when the universe as we know it was born. Scientists now claim to have reached back 13.8 billion years to detect the very first glimmer of cosmic time. Finding it, said the scientists who led the research, is one of the most important goals in cosmology today. So could the ripples of gravitational waves show the universe a trillionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second after the Big Bang? Or something else entirely? Our science editor, Tom Clark, travels to the frontiers of physics and beyond. Let us reflect for a moment on the origin of the universe. After the Big Bang, it grew so fast, it rang like a bell. Vibrations called gravitational waves rippled through space and time, and they should still be visible today, or so the theory goes. Today, American scientists using this radio telescope at the South Pole claim to have seen them. This seemingly abstract plot represents three years of analysis of the oldest light in the universe, and the team from Harvard claim it's direct evidence of gravitational waves. To understand the birth of the universe, you have to go all the way back to the beginning. That's 14 billion years ago. Peer back through the stars and galaxies, and you get to this, the cosmic microwave background. This light was left over just 400,000 years after the Big Bang. But what scientists think they've seen today is the first moments after the Big Bang, a time when the universe was just one billion trillion trillionth of a second old. Many cosmologists are stunned by the result. If correct, it's a scientific double whammy, the discovery of gravitational waves and, more importantly, confirmation of the Big Bang theory called inflation, one of the most profound ideas of modern science, but so far unproven. It explains why the universe is exciting, why the universe is interesting, why the universe has galaxies, why it is not just an amorphous sea of radiation and elementary particles. But it's too early to say inflation and gravity waves are for real. Not yet a complete proof. The answer is not what we expected. It's much too large. Whatever it is, it's something very exciting. Either there's something not quite right with the experiment, or, and I hope that is the answer, inflation was far more exciting than our simple theories tell us today. Science is measured in breakthroughs. When it's as big as the origin of the universe, they require more proof. But what's a few more years in nearly 14 billion? Well, joining us from central London is Dr. Hiranya Pieris, a cosmologist from University College London. Oh, well, Dr. Hiranya Pieris, I, I've spent quite a lot of the afternoon swatting up on this, but I can't say that cosmology is my specialist subject. So just tell me in really simple terms, if you can, how important is this? So um, I would say that since last Friday, this discovery had been rumoured on the internet and there has been tremendous buzz and excitement about this among cosmologists just because if this discovery would pan out, it, it would be one of the most uh, stupendous discoveries of all time. Uh, in my field, uh, this is probably the most exciting discovery since the acceleration of the, the universe was discovered in 1998. And it's really, if, if it's confirmed, an echo of the Big Bang. It'll tell us um, some information about where all the stuff in the universe came from in the first place. It'll tell us about our very origins. And that would be a very revolutionary discovery. Well, you inserted a few ifs in that. Um, are you a little bit sceptical? Do you remain to be convinced by this discovery? I would say I'm cautiously extremely excited. Uh, this is a team of people who are some of the best in the game, they're very conservative. They've had quite a few years to look at their data and analyze it. Um, now, the information that they have released today doesn't answer um, all of the questions that, for example, I and others who are not in that team would have about how well they have quantified other signals which could potentially be mixed in and be confused with this signature from the very early universe. Um, and so we will be looking for confirmation about how well they have uh, 
characterize such effects. And also, I think nobody will really believe it 100% till it's been confirmed by another experiment. But uh, because the signal, as reported, is very high, it, it actually won't take probably that long for the, such confirmation to come. Well, if your ifs are answered, uh, what does this mean? For Where do we go from here? Um, so where we go from here um, as an experimentalist is to try to scrutinize these results uh, as much as we can. Um, I'm, for example, uh, I'm a member of the Planck Collaboration. This is a satellite that's out there in space and it has measured the cosmic microwave background to very high precision. The level of the signal is uh, so high that, as reported that Planck might be able to, for example, try to confirm it. Um, so that's the initial kind of steps that we would have as an experimentalist. But um, for theoreticians, a, a huge playground has now been opened up to try to build um, consistent and detailed theories about the origin of everything in the universe. And that's well, really exciting. Well, Dr. Hiranya Pires, have fun in that playground. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks, Kathy. I hope you're going to explain all that to your children tonight. Oh, yeah, easy.